Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I'm feeling a lot better today. <laughs> it's early in the morning, I've got the entire day to play Dark Souls. Took a shower, had a nice breakfast, it's nice and cool in my room this time. I was thinking back to yesterday and man was I pissed off. I was really pissed off. At that boss, at everything. But, much happier today. I don't know, I guess it's sort of a cathartic sort of pissed off. Annoying, but, you know, once you beat the boss and whatnot, it's really satisfying. Oh, I'm getting cursed. So, yeah, there's a bunch of small things to do. And once again, first thing I want to do is try out... Let's see, there's three things to try out here. Let me demonstrate them. Please tell me you are still in the corner. Oh, damn it, you're not. Mm. Okay, one of the things I was going to test might be a little bit hard, because to test it, I need one of those goat things. Wait, is there still one back here? Hello? Yes, okay. Here's what I'd like to test. Which one should I get rid of? I'll get rid of this. So I got the stone ring. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, hits greatly reduce enemy poise. Emphasis on greatly. So, I know with these enemies, even when I was using the Greatsword, I couldn't break their poise, I couldn't stun them with my attacks, so I'm wondering if the effect is significant enough to even stun these things. Because if it is, then the Stone Ring might really be worth using. But otherwise, maybe not. Hmm, nope. Hold on, let's get fancy here. Yeah. Oh, that... No. <laughs> I meant to do this. No, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. I meant to do that. Can you change the direction of that attack in midair? No. Let me try to move it, actually. No, you can't. I tried doing the attack and then just, like, moving to the left, thinking he'd stab to the left, maybe. Or sorry, she, rather. Okay, so that's one thing tested. Stone ring, eh. Almost all the enemies I attack already get stunned because my halberd has a pretty high poise. What is its poise, actually? 35. Yeah, that's pretty good. Compared to, say, I don't know, a long sword, which has one of 20. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I've got so many rings. Okay, I'll put on the guardian seal. Automatically summons you to other worlds. Sure. Okay, so that's one of three things I want to test here. There's something else I want to test. If I can remember how to get there. I want to get to that scorpion dude. Is it down here? Stop cursing me, please. Yes, it is. Okay. So here's what I'm wondering. Maybe if I put on the ring of whispers, I can communicate with him. Hmm? You've defeated <gasps> my better half. Oh. This is my thanks. Take it. Hmm? Fragrant branch of yore, yes! Was that because of the ring, or... I mean, I know I went to talk to him after I had defeated his better half, but I still couldn't talk to him before. What skill. You've defeated my master. But our master never dies. And he changes form, so that he may seethe for all eternity. Brave human, you have yet to face your greatest perils. Take these. May joy await you at the end of your travels. <laughs> I don't know about that. Second dragon ring. Whoa. I have no gods to pray to. But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. Man Scorpion Tark. Warm up gesture. Regret. <laughs> Is that the uh, person that maybe tried to communicate with him by attacking him? Ring required ahead. I have no gods, but still. Okay, let me check and see whether it's actually the ring that's doing this. It is! <laughs> That's really cool. 
Okay, what is the second dragon ring? Whoa! Grants its bearer the protection of dragons. Increases hit points, stamina, and maximum load, but is easily broken. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder how easily broken. Rolmond, Knight of Dranglaic, served the king by guarding the fort until his own demise, and was said to have cherished this ring throughout his life of service. Where's the first dragon ring? The protection of dragons. Is this at all connected to... Is this at all connected to the... The dragon in Freya's chamber that I gave the... Something to? Is this connected at all? Hmm. I'm just looking down at the bottom right. Look at how much that makes a difference to my equipment load. It allows me to hold... Five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half more pounds. That's a huge difference. Alright, well, let's see how easily it breaks. Also, what does it do to my hit points? I can't tell here. And stamina. Let's see. Hmm. Whoa. Wait a minute. I think that might have made a huge difference. Hold on. So, with it, one, four, one, 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 three, two. Now, let's take it off. Holy shit. That gives me 12 more stamina and about, like, 70... 60... Yeah, about 70 more HP. That is amazing! Just how easily does it break, because... If it's at all feasible to use it most of the time, then I certainly will, because that is incredible. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. it <laughs> I'm guessing the repair bill, if it does break, is probably like a bajillion souls. Hmm. Yeah, it's made a big difference to my stamina. Wow. And my rolling distance and my everything. Friend ahead. Okay, so that's two of three things I wanted to try here. The next was to use my fragrant branch of yore on the person that's down here, but now I have two. There's actually two other stone people to use it on. One was guarding treasure, and the other was not guarding anything, as far as I know. But I think this is the one I want to use it on the most, because I think this actually this guy actually blocks off an entirely new area. Um, hello. Be wary of pointless. Ooh. Going here is pointless? Hmm. <laughs> that kind of makes me not want to use it now. Huh. I haven't been over there, have I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That almost looks like an area I can get to. Like, normally. Hold on. But I don't remember actually being over there, but it looks like it's right below just the main spot. Like, below the bonfire. I only have two of these, and it's taken a long time to get them, so I really don't want to waste it. Oh, fuck off. Oh no! Almost got cursed. Okay. Yes, the bridge doesn't quite reach to it, but I wonder if there's another way over there.
What if I could just, like, jump to it? Probably not. Hmm. Wait a minute. I don't... I don't remember these being here before. These weren't here before, what the hell? Okay, that's kind of creepy. That is really creepy. Try jumping. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I could just, yeah, I could just do that, right? Yeah, pff, I don't need to use the fragrant branch of your. Glad I didn't. Although, how am I going to get back? <laughs> I guess I'll just die. Hello. Oh, it's one of you. <laughs> Massive eyes. They're cute. Annoying, but cute. Do your thing, I'll wait here. Well, some decent stuff, but yeah, certainly not amazing. Really glad I didn't use my fragrant branch of yore. Why is there a blood stain in front of this? I don't like that. How did you die? Oh, did you fall off? <laughs> okay, they just fell off. Oh, that's what that's for. It's for jumping down. I wonder what that little pathway that went nowhere was. Black Knight Halberd. I've already found that, or is that a new one? I've already found it, haven't I? This? No, that's Old Knight Halberd. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, oh god, it needs a lot of dexterity. Okay, so it does a shit ton more damage. It does a hell of a lot more damage. Yeah. Because it's unupgraded, and that's being compared against my current weapon, which is, what, plus five? Yeah, plus five. And plus, it also has another type of damage. What is that? fire, which is nice. Unfortunately, though, it's extremely heavy and also requires me to have 11, 11 more dexterity. I do want to see it, though. I think it's cool. But, yeah, not going to be using that. I don't want to dump 11 more points of dexterity points of leveling up into dexterity. Nope. Okay, so here is the third one. Or, this is another one. He's not guarding anything. So either... I'm thinking one of two things. Either it's completely pointless. You just unfreeze them and maybe just kill them. I don't know if you have to kill them when they come back. You know, if they're normal enemies. But I'm also thinking maybe he's got, like, the key on him to that locked door down here. So I've been wondering how to get to that key. And there's also a guy in here. It's like a guy in a wheelchair or something. Yeah, right there. No idea what that's about. So maybe he's got something on him. But, let's see what this is. Destroy and then key! Oh my god! Wow, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for guessing that. Okay. 
Yes. Do you come back alive, or... Do I talk to you? Oh, you come back alive. Okay. <laughs> right back to battle. <laughs> you wake up after being frozen. Oops. Fang Ki. Whoa, oh my god, that axe just flew across the world. But yeah, you wake up after being petrified for, oh, I don't know, hundreds, thousands of years, maybe? And then you instantly start attacking the first thing you see? Like, that's not what I would do. I would say, thank you, mister. Or, thank you, ma'am. For freeing me from my petrification. Saving me from my petrifiety. Very, very rude. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh. Now he's going to come back every time. Come on. What the hell is that? Summon sun. Whoa. What? But I'm not even human. Misha approves. Who is Misha? Summon a dark spirit. What am I getting into witchcraft? I don't I don't understand what that does. Is that because of my ring? I'm not even wearing the ring. The one that automatically summons you. Uh. I that uh, that's creepy. No. I'm not down for that. Alright, so here's the other one. Let's see what this says. Please don't say pointless. Chest ahead. Yep. Okay, well, I guess I'll go ahead and use it. Nobody else to de petrify. Why not? Okay, what do I get for my troubles? Another fragrant branch of yore. Okay, so it replaced itself and gave me a bunch of lion mage stuff, which I'm sure I'm not going to want to wear. Probably looks kind of cool, though. That does look pretty cool. Alright, so I've got one extra. I can depetrify somebody or something. Oh shit, yeah, these were not here before. Hi. Don't step in the puddle. I've got my ring on. The one that easily breaks. Ah. 
Okay. What the f fuck? Um. What the hell are you? Are you an enemy? You look really creepy. I can't target it. Uh, it. Hi. It's like you have the lower half of a lower half body sort of looks like a woman's lower half of the body, but then your feet are like creepy and then your upper half is really creepy. Like what the hell? That is terrifying looking. Um Oh, yes, an Estes flask yard. Okay, um, hi. Wait, what does this say? Liar. <laughs> everybody says everybody's a liar. I'm just gonna ignore that from now on. Thank you for helping me. I am Onifex. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? Where's your abode? Thank you, kind traveler. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. Is your abode next to that wheelchair man? Thank you. I... Okay. Are you going to be there instantly, or...? Do I have to, like, visit a bonfire to reset everything first before you leave? I'm assuming she meant, like, here? Just down the way. I don't know. Let's go visit the bonfire. And come back. Actually, while well, I'm at it, let's go get my Estes flask shard working. See light, however. F Let's see if she's in there. I'll just go down the normal way. I was thinking of trying to jump in there. Probably not a good idea. I don't see her up there. Oh. Oh, it petrified me! That's what that is! So now would be a good time to use my petrification ring. I never knew what the hell that stuff was, because it almost never actually got fully there. Well, my second dragon ring is doing fine. Just gotta, you know, make sure I don't hit any pots of acid. Which do I need the least? Silver cat's kind of, silver cat ring's kind of important for when I drop down. I don't really... 
want to get rid of any of my rings. At least I can temporarily get rid of the one that makes me lose less health when I die. Not too much point in that. So long as I live. <laughs> Holy shit, my max health is really low. When did that happen? Does that happen when you die of petrification? I wasn't looking. That was rude. Alright, she has indeed left. Down to her home. Down the way. Or whatever it is she said. But where be her home? Shit, I think I actually just stepped through it a little bit. How's my stuff doing? Yeah, that dragon ring's at half now. Definitely gotta be careful with it. Oh shit, I'm getting cursed. Fuck off. So, yeah, where is her place? She didn't mean, like, back in Majula, did she? <laughs> no, he can't get back to me. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. I mean, surely back in Majula was, is, would not be down the way, right? She made it sound like her place was close. Like, go down the hallway, it's the first door on the left. Like, that's the feeling I got from what she said. Could you be over here? What the hell? I don't know. I seriously didn't kill him with that hit? Wow. 15 hit points left. Okay, well, I guess she might be at Majula, maybe? Now that I've got this dragon ring and whatnot, I do want to go test that door. The door. I'm trying to think of any place that I would think would be appropriate for a bird person. Like, what would a bird person's home be? Let's hope this dragon ring is what I need. <sighs> Apparently not. Okay, is there any ring I don't have equipped that might do it? I think so. It's not that, is it? Nah, I don't think it'd be tied to a covenant, would it? Doubt it. Let's get my ring of binding back in there. Hmm. 
I guess I'll go check Majula. Let's see what you look like now that you've got all that armor on. <laughs> That's right, I gave her the peasant's hat or whatever it is, plus a bunch of old knight's armor, which is like the heaviest armor ever. She looks... interesting. Her headwear doesn't match the rest of her stuff. Alright, has anybody spotted a bird person? Hmm? Any bird people? I have no idea. I'll find her one day. I'm going down here because I remember there was something here. What? Who the hell are you? Who, who are you? Oh, hello there. An honor to see you again. This room is not as it seems. There are two, not one, pathways leading out. And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. And this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Shall I provide you with one? Uh, sure. Let's keep talking first. Yeah, I was thinking, I remember there's some sort of a contraption down here. So that's why I came here. Glad I did. To cast miracles, you must have strong faith in the gods. Miracles began as tales told by gods. We preserve their will with law, pray to their greatness, and are blessed in return. You must nourish your faith. No thanks. Miracles have been passed down through us since the first flame. There's a lot of bloodstains in Isn't here. Isn't it extraordinary to think they've existed since the very origins of the world? And now, you can have this power for yourself. Don't miss out on the road to enlightenment. What is the first flame? Well, it's... <laughs> You're not ready to comprehend it, I'm afraid. <laughs> you require more faith and more miracles. Many more miracles. To cast miracles, you must have strong faith in the gods. Miracles began as we present you must. Well, it sounds like she's going to do it for me, which is good, because my faith is extremely low. But first, what have you got? Chime. I'm sure it's all miracle stuff. Ring of prayer. 28,000. Oh my god. The ring blessed by the high priest of Vulgan increases faith. The clearest of the great city of Vulgan are perennially entrenched in scandalous power struggles. But among them remain a few strong-willed, upstanding noblemen. Ooh, Homeward. It's like Homeward Bone, but a spell. Reveals more messages from other worlds. That's pretty cool. No need for miracles. The gods frown upon such soul scrimpers. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Saint or wretch? Miscreant. Let's take a look around first. I'm guessing this is the pathway it's going to open. How did you die? Were there enemies in here the first time I came in here or something? Because I don't remember fighting anything here. Contraption does not move. Okay, let's get her to do it. Just speak that slow. Only 2,000 souls? Pfft, it's a steal, sure. 
Walala. That dynamic lighting. Go ahead. May the power of miracles be with you. Offer your souls to the gods. Okay, so that cut off this pathway, but that's fine. I can always use the bonfire to get there, and anyway, there's no reason for me to actually really go there. Oh my god, there's a lot of blood stains. Rouge water. What the hell does that look like? What even is that? It's not like a stone thing, is it? No. Is it a spell? It actually told me when you pick it up. It tells you when you pick it up what kind of an item it is, but I didn't pay attention. Well, I'm assuming it's one of these. Come on. Oh, there it is. Restores HP and spell uses. Crimson water of unknown origin. Though known to some as red holy water, not everyone acknowledges its holy status. <laughs> I don't know what they were throwing. Visions of Jog, by the way, quite something. What the hell? The rating is 578? Okay, um, I'm, I guess I'll give in to peer pressure. Apparently that's a good message. What are you fighting? Joy, therefore, think carefully. What? Praise the sun. Good luck. Good luck with what? What's, what's there to worry? What's even here? It's too dark to tell. Okay, bottomless pit beneath me. Endless spiral above me. I really hope I don't have to fight something on this pathway. Oh, that wasn't an endless spiral. It's no big deal. I'm trying to see if that stone is like in the shape of something. Like a hand, maybe. Nope. Just just a normal stalactite type thing. Doesn't appear to be an enemy. Why are you sitting in a chair staring at a corner, sir? Why is there a blood stain next to you? Dark. Sorcery required ahead. Eh, I don't believe that. I don't know who you are, but believe me, be. The frailty of the weak disrupts. The dark. Leave me alone. I'm interested in one thing, dark, and you haven't the gift. Well, too bad, you're gonna have to talk to me anyway. Leave me alone. I'm interested. Or not. So I guess you do have to be a sorcerer to talk to him? Huntsman's... Cops? C-O-P-S-E. I don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced exactly, or what it even means. Horse? Beautiful. Hurrah for gorgeous view. Oh my, oh my. That is a gorgeous view. Look at that. Hold on. There is an option... There we go. No, get rid of the read message. Get away from it. There we go. Let's enjoy the view for a second. So 
it's like this. There, that's as slow as I can move the view. That is a beautiful view. Really. That forest down below. All foggy and creepy. Eerie greenness to the sky and a lot of birds. Very big birds. Huge mountains. And some gigantic structure up there. It looks like there's a... It looks like coming out the top is like the hilt of a gigantic sword. See what's going on here. Oh no, why do I feel like I'm going to be entering that gigantic place and there's going to be a boss? Visions of despair, therefore silence required ahead. Huh? Are you alive? You are alive. I wonder if he's going to come after me. You don't, you don't look tough. And you certainly aren't tough. Poison ahead, but try above. Thank you for the message. That poison's actually quite pretty. Ah. Some sort of spewing... Thing. Oh, shit. Just how wide does it spew? Some strange fauna around here. Down. What the hell's down there? I see messages and bloodstains. Looks like I can jump on the gigantic mushrooms, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got the cat ring, so getting down really shouldn't be too bad. It's a butterfly that's trying to poison me. It's a strangely hostile act from an otherwise very beautiful creature. Jumping off ahead in short, try shortcut. Well, before that, let's see what's going on over here. Illusory wall ahead, therefore hurrah for liar. Rating 558, my god. Okay, so I'm trying to press A. I don't know if they mean, like, right here. I don't... Can't seem to use it. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe by a head they just mean, like, somewhere up here. Kinda doubt it, though. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna drive me crazy. I don't think 558 people would upvote this unless it was true. Illusory wall ahead. Right, I'm trying to use it. Whatever. Well, since I'm so close to the bonfire, I think... I want to do this. Oh, God, there's another one. What the fuck is that down there? It's got a weapon. Oh, my God, it's so dark. I think there's a thing I can jump on here, but there's another one of those poison things. 
Plus, do I even have room to sprint and then jump? My god. Oh, nope. Okay, stop poisoning me, please. Thank you. Back and then door. Richard's rapier. Probably sort of a dual wieldy type weapon. Yeah, it's a dexterity weapon, without a doubt. It's got a lot of... This, what is this? Counter strength. Hmm. Definitely not my kind of weapon. Can I just, like, shoot those things? I do have some arrows, don't I? I've actually had these arrows equipped the whole time. Hopefully they don't have weight. That makes me very, very happy. Poison moss. Red Eye Orb. Ooh. Guess it's the equivalent of the Blue Eye Orb, but probably for a different faction. Where are you? Invade other worlds. Or maybe it's just a use whenever you want sort of item, not sure. Not sure if it's tied to a faction. Oh, that's obviously a wall. Door ahead. Aha! I used it. So I did miss something on that little ledge thing up there. It was one item. Is this the way up? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Unless I can, like, get it. Oh! <laughs> Yay! The most wonderful ladder ever made. I mean, not ladder. Elevator. That's creepy as hell. That was really, really creepy. Was there something in the other one? I didn't see. Oh, hi. Hello? Oh, this is a new spot. Nice hit. Almost got me that on that one, man. Yeah, these things do like no damage. I wonder if this is a low level area.
that a doorway? No, I guess it's just a place where enemies are. Weakness jumping. It's another bottomless hole. It's a lot of them. Unlike the one at Majula, though, I don't think this one has anything to fall onto. No, this place is gloomy. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. Bring some life to this place. Felt like one hour. Yeah, I've got over an hour of torches left. I think I'm good. Right, so I can go upstairs. Up, up the ladder. Let's see what's up here. I have never been here before. Yep, definitely nothing to fall onto. Let's go this way. I meant to say, let's go... Where's the way? Oh, that's a ladder. Wait a minute. How do, how do I get over there? I guess I'm going up the ladder. Okay. There's no way I can jump that, right? No. Hmm. Maybe this loops around to get to it. Yeah, these arrows don't have weight, do they? No, they don't. Okay, I'll just leave them on there. I'm amazed how they still managed to get hits off on me. Oh, shit. Right, so this seems like the land of really fast dual-wielding sort of characters. Really fast attackers. Okay, so you just fall down. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is probably the other side, right? Be wary of poison. Is there one of those moth things? Don't see any. <laughs> I was wondering if you could break that. Let's let some light into this place. It's stuffy in here. Oh. Be wary of enemy. I was expecting it to come out, not actually break the door. Something's gonna like swoop down and pick me off of this ledge. Some sort of a bird.
Yeah, these things are giving me 90 souls. This is definitely a low-level area. Which means it should be easy, right? Right? Yeah. Ooh, hello. <laughs> that bridge leads to that. Oh, you know what? I think I might know what's inside of there. For some reason, just the Colosseum type look of it reminded me of a... I think it's a boss that I saw in the trailer for the game. A knight dude. I wonder. Hmm. Judging by the bloodstains and the item there, it looks like you can jump there to get that item, but I don't think there's a way back. <laughs> I don't see a way back. I'll save that for some other time. Okay, so I can go down the ladder, or I can go down here and see what's down here. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's just a dead end down there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, gotta go this way. Aha! I don't think I've done this since the beginning of the game. Which is actually kind of disappointing. You know, I thought there'd be a lot more environmental modifying than there has been. Because you saw in the, tra uh, in, the, in the training, you know, early on. But then ever since then, just... Nope. Wait, is this back... This is back to this spot, right? Yeah, it is. Mm, there's still that item there I want to get. <sighs> ah, I don't know. It's probably not worth it. It's probably not something that special. What the... I just saw something fall. What the hell just fell from the sky? Okay. Hmm. Kind of want to get... No, no, no. <laughs> Somebody left a message over there, too. I bet it says something interesting. Like, please save me. Although, you know, in reality, it probably just says horse butthole or something. I see you behind the tree. Try Sniper Spot. Be wary of ambush, by the way, behind. Yep, I saw him. Thank you, though. Small orange burr. Hmm. Haven't seen that before. Visions of jumping. Temporarily boosts fire defense. Hmm. Give it up. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Stupid poison spewers in the trees. Oh, that's a big guy. They're in the trees. Don't look up. Okay, come to me, please. Did you really just try to attack from there? Okay, just one attack, not two attacks, okay. That was two attacks. Cannot stun him, cannot stun him. Okay. Mm. 
Do I have my stone ring on, by the way? I don't think I do. No, I don't. I could try it, I guess. Ah, who cares? Hi. What if it poisons the enemies? Probably not. At least these are worth a hell of a lot more souls. Well, shit. I fuck, I didn't mean to eat it again. <clears throat> I meant to do this. a lot of pathways to go in this forest. Can go across the bridge up here. That leads up. I need a bonfire. Above a head. Looks like a cage. So you get in from above, it sounds like? Yeah, I think there's a hole up there or something. I could reach in through the bars to get it. Hurrah for Boulder. What? So is someone... Did, they seriously just left a message about this Boulder? Like, hey, there's a Boulder? Whoop-dee-doo? Okay, I'll vote it up. Let's see if I can backstab him. <laughs> 